what are we doing entertaining the idea of bringing Washington State, Wazoo, the flag school, Wazoo, and Oregon State into this conference? Washington State had Mike Leach. Oregon State was ranked in the top 25 a bit last year. These are two of the worst football programs in America. From a ticket sales standpoint, they are bottom 10 in the country in in the Power 5. That is that is not good. There is this there's this dialogue amongst Big 12 people and amongst especially people from the Pac-12 the West Coast that that the Big 12 needs to extend a lifeline that that these two schools, Washington State and Oregon State are following the lead of Stanford and Cal, Calford. And that if Calford goes somewhere that somebody else, if they go to the Big 12, God forbid, that we have to take, that we have to take Oregon State and Washington State. That's silly. That's very, that was super, super silly. Somebody's been having too many real beers, not enough non-alcoholic beers. The idea of allowing Oregon State, like, think about, great, great, great analogy. coming. Not even, it's not an analogy, it's just a, a, a Q&A. I ask the question, you give the answer. Name one Oregon State football player all time. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. Name three. Aha, uh-huh. gotcha. Name one Washington State football player of all time. All right, you said Gardner Minshew. Thanks. Three. Five. Name two head coaches in Washington State history. I already gave you one. Two head coaches in Oregon State history. Oof. Getting real tough, isn't it? All this Q&A stuff. You don't feel really equipped for this little game we're playing. Yeah. Well, I don't want to have to know. This is a business. All right. The Big 12 is a business, not a charity. We use the, the lifeboat analogy all the time, but the Big 12 is a business, not a lifeboat. If the Big 12 is a lifeboat, if you want to stick with that analogy, then this is women and children first. And Washington State and Oregon State are large, burly men. We are looking them in the eyes. The ship is going down. We are saying women and children first. We're sorry. Condolences, right? I bet there are some awesome people who run cross country at Oregon State, and they are sad because Oregon State is not in the Pac-12 anymore because Oregon State's going to a different conference and might not be in the Power Five. I bet they are sad. I bet that person, I bet I have condolences. I have sorrow, sympathy for that person. What I don't have is a spot in the lifeboat. Mm. Women and children first. We kind of have rules around here. It's kind of the way this thing goes. We can't bend those. I got you running cross country, but bloop, ship's going down. I can't take all the cross country, all the cross country runners, you know. And then you ask the cross country program, like, oh, how about a couple million dollars? Maybe then we could buy you a place in the lifeboat. They don't have it. <laughs> they don't have it. They can't buy the way onto the lifeboat. There, w- there's a way where you could buy your way on, right? If North Carolina wants to buy its way onto the lifeboat, we can have that. We can make that happen. Oregon State cannot. Football not good. Basketball not good. Women's basketball good some years. Baseball good. Washington State. Basketball, not good. Clay Thompson, though. Football, not good. Volleyball for both schools, I don't know. When's the last time you watched a Washington State volleyball match? Any Name like any sport Washington State's good at. Anywhere there for national relevance. What I'm getting at with this is they're not big brands in college athletics. They are not money makers. Nobody shows up to their stuff. They're not like Cal, who has the more debt, over $400 million, more debt than anyone else in the NCAA. They're not that bad, um, but they're not good. And there are insane people that are out there telling you, hey, we should stick our neck out. We should take them. We should try to make this happen. And I just, I truly, when you go to the water cooler, when you talk with your friends, when they're telling you, hey, is there a way the Big 12 takes Oregon State and Washington State? My aunt's a Wazoo grad. I want you to figuratively slap him, 
Remember, we don't literally slap anybody. We don't condone violence here. I want you to figuratively slap him with knowledge that it's not going to happen. Oregon State, get it, get it through everybody's brain. The money is not there. The lifeline's not there. If Stanford and Cal, by some terrible chance, end up coming to the Big 12, there is still not a, a support mechanism that drags dead weight into this league. So don't, don't, don't go drinking the alcoholic beers, the Kool-Aid. The conference is done. The, we're done expanding West. No reason for the Pac-12 to have as many teams in the Big 12 as the original Big 12. Then you're just the Pac-12. The Pac then you're allowing Pac-12 schools to take over the league. That can't happen. I won't let it happen. Not on my watch. They want my opinion. If they want to bring me in, I'll tell them what's up. Oh, this is stupid and idiotic. Why are we entertaining this? Anybody tell me why we're entertaining this. Out of respect. You can't just say out of respect and something work out for you. It sucks and it's bad. Also, what sucks is the clock. The new clock stuff with the NCAA. What are we doing, man? On Locked On Big 12, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.